Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode. Today we are just wanting to share some information for all of those students that are juniors or seniors thinking about college, looking ahead to their plans for the future as a lot of deadlines are coming up. Which deadlines? ACT and SAT testing, those dreaded three letter acronyms that most students are like, why do I have to do this? What's the purpose? Yay, standardized testing. So today we're gonna kind of break down why those are important, what purpose they serve, and kind of how you can be best prepared to take those tests so that you can set yourself up for future success. So Sarah, did you wanna go ahead and get started? Sure, so um, testing is an important thing, especially if you're looking at getting into a college or a university. It's just one of the many things that a college or a university will look at and determine whether or not you are prepared to enter into their school. So it's a, a, an easy way, a standardized way of comparing you uh, across the board with many other students. Um, and it's pretty black and white. Um, you know, you have a score given to a test that's been proctored in a setting. So it's taking out pretty much every other factor and just looking at um, how you handle each of these subject matters that are being tested. So it's a great way for schools to, to take a look at that. Um, not only that, but a lot of scholarships are based off of these tests. So both SAT and ACT, um, when you're looking at applying to scholarships, those numbers are taken into consideration and the better that you do on each of these tests, open up a greater opportunity of scholarships that are available to you. So not only just getting into and getting accepted at a college, but being able to handle it financially as well. So very important. Yeah. And for those stressing, thinking I'm not much of a test taker, what am I gonna do? Thankfully, colleges don't only look at your scores on your test. So there's many other factors to consider. Um, as you're applying for colleges. So just make sure that you're, you know, doing your best in your courses, that if you're participating in any extracurricular activities that you list those. Really colleges are looking for a well-rounded student and the testing is just one way for them to kind of see your level of college readiness. So, but again, don't stress yourself out because it's not the only thing they're going to be looking at. Um, and it will also just kind of help give an idea of what type of courses that might be a good level for you as you're going into college. So there's lots of reasons why testing is a part of it. And as you're looking at the colleges that you're interested in, just remember that every admissions process is a little bit different. So it's up to you to research what the colleges that you're applying to are looking for. So some of them might require that you take both the SAT as well as the ACT. Well, some might require one or the other. So again, just familiarize yourself with what those admissions requirements are so that you can be fully prepared and just present yourself in the best way possible. Because again, there's multiple factors that they're looking at. And for those of you who have never taken the SAT or the ACT, we wanted to kind of break that down the structure of what it looks like, just so you know, kind of going into it, what to expect. So the SAT contains three major sections. There's reading, writing and language, and then math. And math is broken down into two sections where you can use a calculator and then some where you can use no calculator. So it's kind of both sides for math. Um, and usually it takes several hours. So you'll go to a testing center. You'll have time set aside that you can go. Um, once you're finished, you can leave, but they do give you a specific amount of time that you have to finish it within. And I believe it's three hours. Um, and so, yeah, some of those deadlines are coming up. I know that the February um, or the March testing date is right around the corner. So that deadline has passed. Um, but the next deadline for registering for the SAT is April 7th, and that is for a test date of May 6th. So if you're looking at those college application processes again, they have early dates, you just wanna make sure that you get your testing done within enough time to get your application in. So again, April 7th is the next registration deadline for a May 6th test date. 
And if you're ready to register for the SAT, you can go to collegeboard.org and you can register there. And that will just kind of walk you through the whole process. And then it will give you time to prepare and study and do lots of practice tests, all those fun things as you get ready to take that test. Right. Yeah. And, and that's something that we offer too. It, it seems, it can seem very daunting. Um, and if you don't have a great plan of action for studying, um, taking a, a test prep course might be very helpful. So um, you can find, you can find classes online. Mountain Point Academy offers a great test prep suite um, where we actually offer a test prep for both the SAT and the ACT. Um, and why I really like our version is because it starts you off with a diagnostic test. So you can get in there, take the diagnostic test, see where your strengths already are. So you don't have to focus as much energy on the stuff that you already feel like you have a good grip on. Um, and then you can focus on the stuff that you really need work on to continue studying on. Um, it puts together a custom path for you um, based on your results. And then you can move forward and then test again at the end to compare how you did uh, on the initial pretest. So it's, it's super helpful and it gives you more of a structured way of approaching your studying. Um, and like I said, we do SAT, we also do ACT. Angela kind of touched on um, how the SAT is broken down. The ACT is a little bit different. So if you are looking at comparing the two tests, just know that the ACT is gonna cover English, math, reading, science, and there's also an essay writing section, which I believe is, is optional or was optional. Um, I believe it still is usually about 40 minutes for that section. Uh, the other ones range from 35 to 60 minutes, depending on the subject. Um, but like Angela said, check out the admissions requirements at the school that you're looking at going to. I know since COVID, some have completely dropped all testing requirements and they may be requiring it again now. So it's so important. Look up the website, try to find as much information as you can about the school that you're trying to apply to, and then reach out for help too. Um, there's people here that can help at our school. Um, if you're not currently a student at Mountain Point Academy, you can always reach out to a counselor at your own school. But the key is reaching out, getting help, starting that test prep early. Don't wait till the last minute. A, a lot of it is stuff that you've probably been covering in school anyway, but the more prepared you are, the more it's going to ease some of that test anxiety going in because you're just going to feel ready for it. For sure. I know. I wish I had prepped a little more <laughs> when I took the ACT. Um, and so, yeah, finding those online resources or a school counselor, tutoring in person, whatever it takes to, to prep is a great idea, like Sarah said, to just eliminate some of that test anxiety because the reality is some of us just aren't great test takers and, you know, we have stronger suited skills elsewhere. So if you're stressed about it, definitely look into taking some test prep courses and getting that extra practice in before you take it. Um, the nice thing about the ACT is they have a little bit more testing dates than the SAT. So the next uh, registration deadline is going to be May 5th to register for a June 10th um, test date um, because I believe the when this episode is airing, it might be cutting it close <laughs> to the next uh, registration deadline, which is March 10th for an April 15th test date. So again, just always wanting to be on top of it, checking sites, resources. So act.org is where you can go to check and register for the ACT if that's what's on your radar for the colleges you're applying to. So just don't be afraid to be checking the websites and looking for updates because that's how you're gonna get your most up-to-date information. Um, calling the school, speaking with an enrollment counselor there is always a good idea just to kind of make sure you have all your things figured out because <laughs> it seems like the admissions process is a little daunting. You know, the testing, the essays, the application itself, there's a lot to it. But if you can just at least take it one little bit at a time, starting with preparing yourself for a test, I think it will help eliminate a lot of that overwhelm. So if you are interested in any of the ACT or SAT test prep courses, please give us a call. The number is 801-653-9649. We would be happy to speak with you, find out what your struggles are, which you would like to focus on, and we can get you set up with a whole, a whole suite of test prep courses. Practice tests gives you the chance to kind of see what it's going to be like so that you're not blindsided on test day. 
it's also teacher supported. So we have a great staff of teachers um, and you would receive that help and support from a teacher while it is independent study. Um, you can meet via video with our teachers, email, chat, um, they're here to help. So you don't have to feel like you're going in on it alone either. You have the support and people who wanna help you along the way. For sure. So good luck as you study and prep. And as always, we're here for questions. So feel free to give us a call. Thanks everyone. Bye.